guys, it's been, man, it's been about a month or two since you last heard from me, and I just want to give you guys an update of what's going on. Am I still doing projects? Where I'm at? What I'm doing? So I made this little list on my phone right here because I want to make this video short and sweet and just uh, keep you guys updated. I'm still making videos. We're still doing projects. We're doing all that. So make sure you guys stick around because I got some really exciting things to show you guys. If you guys want to see more in detail of where we're at, where we're going, you can follow my wife's channel. It's called Hannah McConnell. I'll put the link down in the description. If you guys want to see more detail of where we're going in our travels, you can follow her channel. She posts some pretty cool vlogs. If you guys want to see my photography, you can follow me on Instagram right here at Jacob Michael McConnell. Pretty cool stuff. I've been getting the photography and I absolutely love it. Let's get into it. All right, so first thing I wanted to address is van build videos. Yes, I did build the travel van and yes, I am editing the footage. And yes, I will be posting that. The van build is complete. I'll show you guys some pictures right here of after, of how I built it. The van turned out awesome. I'm super happy with it. And I can't believe I pulled it off in about four weeks because I was working a ton. I was, I was trying to record videos for you guys. I was trying to build a van. I've never done anything like that. Huge challenge for me, but with the help of my wife, we pulled it off and we had a bunch of other stressors on top of that, like moving out of our house, getting out of the military. So two days ago was a huge deal for me because I am officially legally out of the military. And I, <laughs> let me tell you guys, it feels great. I'm, I'm growing my hair out. I don't have to shave anymore. Life's good, I just feel so free. And I've been thinking about making a video about my time in the military and what I did in the military. If you guys want more details on that, let me know. I'd be more than happy to make a video, especially for you young guys out there. If you guys watch me, maybe you're thinking about going in, maybe I can give you some advice, some pointers, what I would do differently or what not to do. So I'm officially free now, no longer government property. Life's good. Let's see, why haven't I posted um, a video in a long time? I had four weeks to build a van. I went to Houston, grabbed it, drove back the next day, started the next day working on the van. I had four weeks to do it. That third week, the moving company came early, packed all of our stuff. I had to move in with a buddy for about five days. And if you're watching, I really appreciate it. Thank you so much. But luckily, we were able to finish the van at our buddy house and we left from our buddy's house and our first stop was Nashville. I'm not going to go into too much detail about Nashville and driving our van there. The first place we slept was Nashville airport and it was weird at first but you get used to it on the road. You just have to find safe places to park and it's just something you got to get used to. It's something different so. So I've been going a lot of places in the country and I love photography. It's something I've got into over the past year and I've been brushing up on my skills with it. If you guys want to follow my photography on all these places I'm going, you guys can follow me at Jacob Michael McConnell. I'll put the link right here for you guys. I'm always posting stories, giving you guys updates of where we're going, what we're seeing. And I'm about to tell you guys, we've seen some cool stuff so far. And we're not even halfway done with our journey. So um, so our first stop was Nashville. Nashville was pretty cool. It wasn't really my cup of tea. I love country music. However, it's not my favorite kind of music, but I like it. But uh, Nashville, uh, I guess the van journey, I just imagine it's going to all these cool uh, sightseeing places. I wasn't really expecting to go to big cities, but it's something uh, we kind of agreed on. We wanted to go see it because I've never seen it before. It was pretty cool. A little too touristy for me and loud. Um, not really my cup of tea. Um, it was pretty cool though. Um, Johnny Cash Museum, I would recommend. If you're a huge Johnny Cash fan, go to the Johnny Cash Museum. You'll love it. But you gotta pay 25 bucks to get in. It costs 50 for my wife and I to go in. And we were just, it was kind of lame. It was kind of, we love Johnny Cash, but we were like, it took 10 minutes to get through. It wasn't all that. So that's some advice for you guys. Um, so after Nashville, went to Kansas City and we spent some time with my in-laws and their family and just kind of relaxed for five days. We kind of decompressed from all the moving, all the van building. After Kansas City, we took our travel van and we went to Colorado. Our first stop in Colorado was Estes Park. And Estes Park, a beautiful place, right next to a national park. And you can see elk, moose, all the wildlife, you name it. I got so many cool pictures there. And I mean, I got like 20 feet away from a, a full grown elk. Super cool, man. Well, actually in Colorado, from there, we went to Aspen. If you guys know Aspen and Dumb and Dumber, that's where they go. It's like that big fancy place where everybody skis. Aspen, I mean, the drive to Aspen, beautiful place. I've never seen anything like it before. And just to see it with my own eyes, I was like, wow, man. The leaves are all changing colors. Um, I've just never seen a town like that before. Super cool. So definitely recommend going to Aspen. Um, the only thing about Aspen is people can tell if you're an outsider because there is a ton of money there. Like celebrities go there and everything. So just be prepared to deal with people that, uh, you know, are on that high horse, you could say. <laughs> 
But there was some nice people there. We ran into some nice people. Um, so next on our trip was Utah. We are in Utah right now, but we've been in Utah for about four or five days, I think. So our first stop on the trip, I probably got some of my favorite photos I've ever taken in my life. And we went to the Bonneville Salt Flats. And the Bonneville Salt Flats, I know a lot of you guys on my channel are like hot rod guys, gearheads, you name it. The Salt Flats is like sacred ground for us. And luckily, I got there, went to the rest stop, and if you guys have seen that guy traveling in his Porsche Cayenne right now, he lives in his Porsche Cayenne, just got in the Navy, he's actually a friend of mine, and he's getting kind of famous right now. He's traveling the country in it, he's like going off road in his Porsche. Um, if you guys want to give him a follow, you can follow him. I'll put the link right here, Harrison Schoen, but it's super cool stuff he's doing. He's traveling the country in his Porsche right now, Porsche is writing articles about him, he's gaining a huge following. He's just doing something different that nobody's ever done before, and you gotta respect it, man. Super cool. But he's back to the salt flats. I got out to the salt flats, and I texted him, like, hey, Harrison, dude, like, I'm at the salt flats. Where do I need to go? And he texted me a whole map, like, you need to go to the speedway, the actual speedway, because the speedway is a sacred ground where they've been setting records for 100, like, 100 years now, even longer, I think. I don't know. But <clears throat> so we got out there and we got super lucky because it just rained and it looked like a mirror. Like I've never seen anything like it in my life. It was just mind blowing. Like you could not differentiate the sky from the ground. It was just insane. I've never seen anything like it. So if you guys are going to Utah, if you're going to the Salt Flats, make sure you go right after it rains if you can because wow, man, I've never seen anything like that in my life. So after the Salt Flats, we went to Bryce Canyon. It's almost like the Grand Canyon. Um, again, I've never seen anything like that in my life. It was beautiful. Like just the size and magnitude of it, it was, it didn't even look real. It was super cool. Um, let's see. So we also drove through Zion National Park and we didn't really feel like hiking Zion. Like you drive through the whole thing and you kind of get an idea of what's there and we didn't really feel like going back. So where are we at right now? We actually cheated a little bit and we got a hotel for two nights because we need to shower We haven't showered for like five days because we usually shower at Planet Fitness and there's no Planet Fitnesses here So we got a hotel for two nights We just need to rest up make some videos edit some videos and just kind of recuperate So next on the list when will the trip end? When is the trip going to end? I have we're hoping by Christmas time if we can make it that long because van life is pretty hard on your body and you get pretty tired of it. But I definitely think that the pros outweigh the cons. And if you can just stick with it and keep traveling, it's so worth it. It's so cool. So the trip end. Um, I'm thinking probably December, early December it's going to end. All right. And a huge question. Next thing on my list is, will I be doing more projects? Absolutely. I still have money set aside for the projects we're going to be doing. And let me tell you what, if you guys, you guys from Houston, you already know this. If you guys are from Houston, let me tell you what car scene in Houston I've never seen anything like it like you can drive down um, the 610 loop in Houston and you're seeing everything from tuners supercars muscle cars anything on the daily like you will see this stuff daily it's just normal there so I think Houston definitely has the best car scene out of like any town I've ever been in so I'm really excited for that um the next project I'm not sure what we're gonna do so drop a comment down below what you think I should do um, I'm I'm definitely thinking something with four wheels this time because we've done the boats we've done the motorcycles so let's aim for someone with four wheels I'm ready to get back into hot rodding and building the van was cool I mean it wasn't really my cup of tea it was something new and cool to do but I'm definitely into more of like the old muscle car scene and I mean I, I can appreciate tuners i love the new modern muscle i love all of it so let me know in the comments below what i should do um so i kind of already talked about it but next on my list is the challenges we're facing on the road um i'd say the biggest challenges is affording gas out west gas is super expensive right now you guys know why i'm not gonna get into it because i'll Probably get my video flagged. All right, so I, so definitely gas, find a safe place to park. It's kind of nerve wracking at first. Um, I'll say another big challenge is having food to cook and just creating a meal plan and getting in a routine in the van. Our whole life we grew up in a house and we really don't know like how to adjust the van life or living in a van or like normal stuff to do. So it's kind of stuff you just gotta learn on the road. I remember our first day leaving, I was like, man, we're just, we just gotta rip the bandaid off. We gotta do it. And that's kind of what we did and we've been figuring it out on the road, but um, I think I do need to put more batteries in my solar system because the batteries don't last long and it may just be that I bought Walmart batteries, but they are deep cycle and they do the job for now, but I might install better quality batteries in the future. All right, so next on the list is van life. Is it worth it? Yes, I would say if you wanna take two to three months just to go travel, just to go see the whole US, save up some money, yes, it's definitely worth it. I mean, I talk about kind of the hardships we're doing 
but the experiences you have, the stuff you see, the people you meet, the stories you're gonna be able to tell one day. I would say the van life, definitely worth it. If you guys are in the position where you can do it, I highly recommend because I've never done anything like this and I'm just having a blast, it's fun. The pros definitely outweigh the cons, that's what I'll say. Um, and if you are traveling with your significant other, you're gonna learn a lot about them and you're gonna, she's sitting right there watching me right now, but you're gonna learn a lot about them. And you're, I think it's good for any young couple or anybody new in their marriage because you, <laughs> You learn a lot about each other and you're gonna learn how to handle different situations in a better way because you're both living in tight quarters and you guys can figure out the rest. It's just a new challenge of its own to face. All right, so the future. Where are we going on this channel in the future? Um, so when I get to Houston, um, we are still gonna be doing projects. Um, I do have a storage unit rented out in Houston. So right now in that storage unit, if you guys saw in one of my last videos, it was the update, I had that Fox body sitting in the trailer. We still have the Fox body and I have it in Houston right now, and that's sitting with my Mach 1. Uh, we, may we may start doing a work on the Fox body. I may just take that Fox body and we might build that up. I've done a lot on that car already, and I'd love to make videos showing the build process of the Fox body, and we may do something like a coyote swap on it or something. So if you guys wanna see that, let me know in the comments below. Um, if we get a lot of traction for the Fox body, we'll definitely finish the Fox body, so. But also in Houston, uh, what am I gonna be doing to make money now that I'm out of the military? Um, I'm probably gonna go, um, um, finish school with my GI Bill and I'm also going to probably start a photography business on the side shooting like cars and stuff like that so if you guys are interested in that again you can follow me on my Instagram I'll put the Instagram right here and also a link down in the comments below I love doing photography it's like a new hobby of mine I picked up in the past year and it's like man what have I been missing out on? It's like something I've always wanted to be good at. I know I'm finally learning how to do it and I'm just having a blast with it, so. So if you guys wanna follow like our travel vlog, my wife has her own YouTube channel and she uploads travel vlogs all the time. So if you guys want more detail of what we're doing, you can follow her channel at Hannah McConnell. She posts some pretty cool videos, um, mainly for girls, I'd say, but the travel vlogs, you guys can definitely see where we're going, what we're doing, and get the update and everything. But I would highly recommend Van Life, and I appreciate you guys watching. I hope you guys are staying safe out there, and yes, we will be getting the more projects. For all my subscribers out there, you guys that have been watching, you've been wondering where I've been, I really hope that I got my point across and I was able to tell you guys everything that's been going on. So I really appreciate you guys following me. I really appreciate you guys sticking with me. I mean, it puts a lot of pressure on me because I started this YouTube channel and I never really knew what this would turn into for me. And I really think if we could document a process of, hey, this kid started with an $800 motorcycle and now he has $100,000 and we're doing all these crazy projects. If we could document that whole process, I think that'd be really cool to see. And then after the 100,000, maybe we'll make it, hey, we're gonna turn this 100,000 into a million. I really appreciate you guys sticking with me. And I really hope this update helped you guys of where we're going, where we're at. This also puts a lot of pressure on me because I know you guys are wanting to see me pull this off. And I didn't know what this channel was gonna turn into and what it was gonna grow into. So I'm just really excited to be doing it and it keeps me busy. And I've just really enjoyed getting to know you guys and talking to you guys in my comments. So yeah, that is the update. I appreciate you guys watching. I will be uploading the van videos soon. Um, I am working on them on the road, so. But anyways, that's all I got for you guys. Thanks for watching.